Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about the trading terms that all traders should know with examples. So these are important trading terms that you should be looking at before you start to trade any kind of strategy. So first is average profit on Mondays. Now average profit refers to the average profit per trade in the trading system. It is calculated by taking the total profits of all the winning trades, that is total profits of all the profitable trades, and dividing it by the total number of winning trades here. Right. So let let me just show you in my uh, advanced trading journal here where I use this journal to track all my PNLs. statement across different accounts and different strategies so i am sharing the link in the description below you can use the link and download this pnl uh, uh, trading journal here right so in this you can see the yellow highlighted boxes the yellow highlighted columns are the profit profit trading days right so these are four trading days now the average profit on win days is basically adding all the four uh, winning days and dividing it by the uh, number here and that is four here so average profit on win days is this now average loss on loss days is adding all the losses of all days and dividing it by the total number of days that are the loss making days so let me just show you let's say one more example let's say i have one more uh, loss making day here now we can see that average loss on loss day would be adding this plus this plus this plus this plus this that is i am adding 5 uh, days loss making days and dividing dividing it by number 5 here right so this was about average profit and average loss now the important trading terms before uh, we move on to expectancy is basically now what is the risk to reward ratio and what is the win ratio here so win ratio is basically the total number of trades that are there let's say there are total number of 100 trades and out of 100 trades there are 70 trades that are profitable that are profitable and there are 30 trades that are loss making trades right so the win percentage basically of the system is 70 divided by 100 that is 0.7 or you can call it 70 percentage so 70 percent is the win ratio 30 percent is the loss ratio of this system here right so this is how the average profit average loss is calculated and then the win ratios are calculated total number of profitable trades here so here it could be like 65 total number of profitable trades could be 67 it could be 75 whatever now an ideal system should have a ideal option selling system should have according to me more than 65% win ratio basically this is a very important attribute that you have to check before you start trading any kind of strategy and one more thing that average profit has to be 1.5 times the average loss here okay what does this mean so average loss let's say is 100 rupees so average profit has to be 150 rupees then only i would consider to trade that system okay so this should be this should be your criteria as well that average profit should be 1.5 times the average loss here now what is risk to reward ratio so basically average profit divided by average loss is known as the risk to reward ratio so if your uh, let's say your average profit is 150 rupees your average loss is 100 rupees so here i see my risk to reward ratio is 1.5 if my average profit is 200 rupees but my average loss is only 50 rupees okay so my risk to reward ratio is approximately 4 so whenever i am making money i am making 200 rupees but whenever i am losing money i am losing only 50 rupees so that is how the risk to reward ratio is calculated in uh, this scenario and right now uh okay so now we are going to move forward to one of the most important uh jar um, one of the most important ratios and that is known as the expectancy ratio so expectancy is what it sounds like it helps you to understand how winners losers gains and losses relate to each other over the longer term this process helps you to understand what your trading system profit should be and helps you to validate the back testing so this is basically you can understand in in a simpler manner expectancy is what i will call it as how profitable the system is and how scalable the system is so expectancy greater than 0.5 is an ideal expectancy and the higher or the closer it is to 1 or above 1 the better it is so generally expectancy lies a good profitable uh, system have expectancy from 0.72 around 1 and that is what i am looking for for the entire system for the entire baskets of 5 to 7 strategies whatever the number of strategies that you are trading the expectancy should lie in that number individual strategies expectancy can be less lesser than so how do we calculate the expectancy 
so cal expectancy is calculated by firstly you need to know your win loss ratio basically we calculate we understood how to we calculate the win loss win loss ratio here we have to calculate the risk to reward ratio risk to reward ratio is basically average profit divided by average loss and combine we are combining these two ratios and to uh, we are trying to form the expectancy ratio to understand how scalable and how profitable the system is so basically the formula of expectancy ratio is risk to reward ratio into win ratio minus the loss ratio here is known as the expectancy ratio okay so let me just show you my live uh, pna uh, my live uh, system this is a 10 lakh system that has generated a return of around 320% over the period of uh, four years over the period of 2019 20 to 21 22 so every year the strategy has given consistent returns of more than 65 70% so if you are interested to know more about this strategy you can use the link in the description below and dm me on whatsapp or you can directly pay through the payment link in the description below right so you see here the st strategy has excellent stats where the expectancy is 0 0.8 the average profit on win days let's say the average profit on win days is 6668 6, rupees and the average loss on loss days is 4150 rupees so basically you can see the average profit is 1.5 times the average loss here firstly the second thing is the win percentage is we see the uh, system has a win percentage of 69 and a loss percentage of 31 percent so this is a second uh, information that we need to calculate the expectancy right so currently i have already created the sheet and i have uh, already added the formulas here so in this i have added the average profit here the average loss here the win rate and the loss rate right so win ratio or loss ratio or win rate or loss rate it's one and the same now risk to reward ratio is calculated by average profit divided by average loss here and that is how we calculate the risk to reward ratio the expectancy is calculated by risk to reward ratio into win ratio minus loss ratio right so as we have seen in the formula here as well that 1.6 into 69 minus 31 so it gives us around 0 0.8 as the expectancy and this is how the expectancy is calculated here as well so this is 0 0.8 here and we have got the same 0 0.8 expectancy here so this is one of my live 10 lakh systems that uh, you can start trading with and the approximate charge for trading the system basically in quantify would come at around uh, 1750 rupees per month and the better uh, it is best that you trade the system in Finvasia and if you want to know more about this then you can use the link in the description below. So uh, moving forward let me show you what is the maximum drawdown and what do, what do we mean by maximum drawdown. Maximum drawdown is the measure of the largest peak to drop decline in the trading systems equity. So to understand it in a very simpler manner let's say I am uh, continuously let's say I am making profit and losses so I have 10 days of data. So if I plot those 10 days of data, you will see that the plots, uh, it will get plotted in an Excel sheet like this, right? So if, if, if a system is a profitable system here, you will see the equity curve would be uh, basically like this. And then probably there would be a breakout in the equity curve. So let me just show you that basically this is a consolidation. This is the drawdown period of a strategy here. Firstly, this is the drawdown period for how long the strategy has not touched the equity curve high. How much time does it take after a decline? How much time does it take to move to equity curve high is known as a drawdown year. So this is the drawdown days year. So let's say this period could last for two months. So this is the two months is the drawdown period of the strategy year. Now, basically these the, the pullbacks that you see in this chart, the pullbacks, let, let me just show you one better chart here. Let's say this is the equity curve for my strategy. Okay, so basically you will see the pullbacks here, the loss, the continuous series of losses, let's say you will see and then uh, after that there will be a bounce, right? So in this case, you can see that this is my maximum drawdown. So the highest uh, fall that you see in the equity curve is known as the maximum drawdown. Okay, this is a very important metrics that this will help you to understand ki how much loss that you can, uh, how much are you going to lose if, if, if the system goes on to a losing streak and what is the, and from what time or what percentage loss the system basically recovers from its losses here, right? So generally a basket, I prefer a basket that has a risk, uh, that has a drawdown of less than 5% on a slippage of 0.5 year. So 
This is a very important metric. So individual strategy can have a drawdown of 10 to 12 percent. But overall, when I combine multiple strategies, the system drawdown has to come below 5 percent for me. So let me just show you individual strategy drawdown here. As you can clearly see, the individual strategy drawdown is coming, let's say, for draw, uh, strategy 1 is 8%, strategy 2 is 5%, strategy 3 is 8.5%, strategy 4 is 4%, strategy 5 is 8%. But when I combine all these baskets together, the, when I combine all these strategies together, I get the drawdown of the entire strategy, entire basket here, and that comes at only 3%. Right. So this is also one of the important things that you have to remember that entire basket drawdown, I would prefer that the drawdown is lesser than 5% uh, uh, on a slippage of 0.5 year. So the recovery days, basically the, the whole recovery days, this is known as the drawdown recovery days from this period to this period, the total time does it, it takes to achieve the equity curve to reach again a new equity curve is known as the uh, basically the MDD and recovery days here. So you see recovery days and the total number of days that the drawdown had lasted here. After that, basically we look at the correlation between strategies. So whenever you are trying to form any strategies, you should see that if you want to create uncorrelated strategies, the, the ratio between any two strategies has to be lesser than 0.4 here. So let's say S1 and S2. So in S1 and S2, you see the ratio is at 0.12. That means these strategies are very less correlated. The negative the correlation, the higher the uncorrelated strategy would be. And uh, if the correlation between any two strategies is, is the greater than 0.4, basically, then me, that means that basically those strategies are highly correlated. So whenever S1 will make a loss, S2 will also make a loss in that case. So prefer to run higher uh, lower correlated strategies that means the correlation has to be lesser than 0.4 to 0.3 uh, the negative the correlation between any two strategies the better your system would perform in a longer run because let's say some days s1 will give give loss some days s2 will give loss but the chances of giving uh, the both the strategies giving both the lo uh, losses together would be really less here so this is an example of drawdown for from local maximum here so this is a MDD where the uh, basically cumulative performance and you see the uh, profits have fallen by 61% here. Yeah. So this is generally a poor system. Uh, the MDD has to be lesser than uh, probably I would suggest you that any algo trading strategy try to have the maximum drawdown basically below 10%. The uh, lesser it is, the better I would say uh, around 0.5 year, right? So basically if you want to start your algo trading journey you can use stock mock to sign up and start your algo trading journey and backtest many strategies i am sure i am linking in i button some of the basic strategies that you can start with as well as you can use quantify platform to run your algo trading strategy so the backtesting platform is stock mock and the execution platform is quantify if you want to know more about the 10 lakh trading system where we are using the re-entry features where we are using the re-execute features to trade strategies and try to cover reversals as well. So you can clearly see the consistency of the basket here. And I hope you like the video. Do share it with your friends. Thank you and bye-bye.